Hello everyone, in this video now I'm going to show you a green jar time lapse. Look how fast the mycelium is growing, it's like one centimeter a day. It's very fast for a mushroom. So in this particular time lapse, the green jar actually failed because I didn't shake it early enough. At around 40 days, I noticed that the green jar has stalled in growth, so I open it up and shake it. As you can see, the jar is only a quarter colonized. Half of it is like empty, void of any mycelium growth. Even when it has been 40 days. What I didn't show in this video is that I actually opened up the jar under uh, in front of a flow hood as one shoot and then I took a spoon and stir the contents of the jar which is the, the grains so that the mycelium would spread out more evenly because at this point the mycelium was hard as a brick it, it would not break up even if I shake it a lot in hindsight I should have uh, shaken the grain jar earlier around about every every week or every few days instead of after 40 days don't do what i do do not ever open the jar until it is fully colonized because that would actually introduce in contamination even if you are doing it under a flow hood i started this time lapse thinking that i can just set the jar in place and not touch it for the whole duration but turns out it was a mistake and it beat me in the you know what okay i'm setting up the time lapse again <laughs> checking for focus usual stuff taking a test shot and it's good enough i think just checking for focus this time lapse is set up at one frame every 15 minutes I ended up having around 3000 pictures of it taking approximately 20 gigabytes okay we are at for day 50 uh, at first it started to recolonize after shaking and breaking the mycelium was going okay but it stalled out again at around day 61 and then I shake it again at day 66 I starting to notice that the mycelium doesn't want to grow back today is uh, 23rd of August it had been several days since we shook this jar and it hasn't colonized at all i think everything in here is is dead it's a fill jar did well it, it did well for like 40 days but then after we shook it everything seems to die can't be can't be rescued anymore, look at that. There's nothing. A field jar. Right, let's let's do a smell test. It's like it's like alcoholic, you know? Whew. It's a lot of yeast in there. <laughs> yeah. It died because of yeast. 
Okay, that's new. That's it. You got a yeast contamination. I, I think because it smells a lot of it smells a lot like alcohol. So yeah, interesting. That's all everyone. I hope you learned something.